$14,281 in a single day from trading stocks. Okay, so how did I do it? In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I made that money in the stock market. So let's jump right into it. All right, so this is just going to be a brief overview of my profit throughout the day so you can kind of see where I was making my money. So just follow my mouse here. This is where my PL is on the day. And this all started on stock CRKN. So you can see my PL right here where my red cursor is. And you're going to see it change throughout the day. So as I'm trading it, I'm up $1,000. And then I had some really big trades on it where I made up to, you know, $2,000, $3,000. Now at $4,000 when it's around 26 cents. And you can see it really starts to get going here and has this huge up move. I'm up to eight thousand dollars nine thousand dollars and then you can see i cross over ten thousand dollars and i keep on trading it just to see where i can pick it up on some scalps making about twelve thousand dollars on that stock so let's jump into why I traded this stock. Well, some of you may know if you stayed up to date with the market last week that there was a crazy momentum rally coming from GameStop and AMC, but that sparked a huge spike in a bunch of other stocks that started to go crazy parabolic and picked up a lot of momentum as well. So this sparked a momentum run in so many different stocks. One sector that actually picked up a bunch of momentum was the energy sector. So a bunch of stocks like fuel cell, sun power, plug power, they picked up a ton of momentum and started going crazy you also had stocks that had a high short float that just started spiking and having these short squeezes i mean there were so many stocks moving there was so much opportunity last week i just happened to see crkn moving and i decided to trade it and i was trading it well so i stuck with it saw the momentum and decided to just start trading it but for some context the news was that they had a conference call the day before and it must have sparked some bullish sentiment However, understanding the market and recent momentum that was happening in the market is super, super important to note down and understand. There was a bunch of different stocks to focus on. I don't think there was a right or wrong stock to focus on in my opinion. I just happened to be trading CRKN. I was trading it well and I was locked in. So I just decided to focus on this one. Now I can't show you every single trade that I took because I took so many trades and this video would be way too long, but a lot of you already know my strategy. You guys know that I'm scalping. I'm quickly in and out. If you want to know more about the strategy that I'm using, I have a bunch of other videos where I go into depth and details about what the strategy I'm using, how I'm trading. But again, a lot of you know I'm scalping. All right, so just keeping this simple before I go super into detail, basically in a nutshell, you can see this is the daily chart. This is a five minute chart and this is a one minute chart. Every candlestick is showing you one minute and pretty much whenever this stock had a consolidation, basically when it was just going sideways for a long period of time, when this started to break out and make new highs, I decided to get really, really aggressive. And that's probably where I made the bulk of my money looking back. So you can see we had a long consolidation started to break out. I got aggressive as it was making new highs. Another long sideways consolidation broke out making new highs and same thing again. And that's where I was making the bulk of my money and where I was getting aggressive. So looking back at the recording, you can see this is where I started to trade CRKN. And as we started to push up, you can see here, I'm just feeling the stock out. I'm taking a few trades on it. I'm up a thousand dollars and you can see this is where we're going to get our first consolidation. So you can see we had our first consolidation right here. And this is the breakout that I was talking about. This is when we start to go up and you can see that I start to get aggressive. So I went from making $1,600 up to $4,000 and it's doing the same thing here again. It's doing another sideways pattern and it's going to start to break out higher and this is where i get aggressive so i'm up four thousand dollars and as it breaks out right there i'm up to about seven thousand dollars on this stock and again it's going to have the same exact pattern it's going to have a consolidation and it's going to break out to new highs and i'm going to but i'm going to do the same thing as i did before i'm going to get aggressive and i'm going to trade it so i go from about seven thousand dollars up there up to about nine thousand six hundred dollars after it's run up and this is kind of where it peaked out but i still traded it Again, I wasn't expecting this thing to go higher. I was just trying to follow the price action and see what it was going to do. So you can see as it kind of had these bigger dips, I was trying to be careful and just pick this stock up in certain spots where I knew that it would probably have some kind of bounce and where I wouldn't get screwed. You can see I'm up to $10,600 right there. And I just kind of did that. You can see the momentum faded out and now it's just moving super, super slow. But throughout the day, again, I'm just trying to pick it up on some dips and where I think it's a good buy. And you can see I make about up to, I peak out at $12,000 on this stock. So let's jump into the specific price action. 
Okay, so here we're gonna jump into the specific price action and kind of what I was thinking in real time. I'm pretty much just gonna break it down from scratch uh, just so you guys know what I was looking at, what I was thinking. Okay, so starting off on CRKN, this is where I started to trade it. And again, as you guys know, I didn't go crazy aggressive on this. I was just feeling the stock out. I didn't know how it was moving. I didn't know how it was trading. So I was just feeling the stock out. And I was up, I was up about $1,000 in this area just for some context. But this is kind of what I was seeing as we move forward. So again, as you guys know, like I said before, we started to get a consolidation. And basically what that means is we're just moving sideways and we're getting tighter and tighter. So you can see this range starts to get tighter and tighter. And then eventually once it starts to curl up and break higher, that's when I was getting aggressive. And that's when I'm thinking, hey, I think this thing's going to make another run to the new highs. Now, there's some specific patterns here where you could trade where like price gets in this tight range and it's either going to go up or down ideally and it starts to pop up higher and there's some trades that i was making in there there was a few patterns in here in here that i was trading but again for the most part i started to get really aggressive as it started to break out again this is a pattern i've seen a lot and because of the overall market context and the momentum on this stock i was like hey i think it's going to make another run higher i don't know how high it's going to go but again that's the perk of being in and out fast i can always get in and out fast and i can try to keep on tackling as long as it's keep going higher and by the time it starts to turn over i can be hands off as you guys saw back in the recording i was making the bulk of my money as this thing was starting to run up so again this is where i started to get aggressive and you can just see on the one minute chart every single minute this thing was just going up for several minutes in a row very very aggressively it was very easy to just buy and it would just keep pushing higher buy sell buy sell and i was just doing that over and over but again you got to watch out for when it starts to turn over because these backside moves will be very aggressive and you want to be hands off when it turns over but again you will start to notice that with more experience and then as you guys see here the same exact pattern once again we start to get this consolidation so again we're not going up or down in the big picture we're just moving sideways and then as we start to curl up and make those new highs that's when i'm starting to get aggressive again you can see that's when you start to get an idea on the sense of direction that's when you start to have more edge because the stock is starting to have that probability and edge with the momentum that is probably going to continue higher and that's when you get aggressive and trade it and the same exact thing right here once again we get this small consolidation but the momentum is so strong and we just fly up to new highs this is an explosive move where we just rip up about 36 percent on this stock and like you guys saw before, I was getting aggressive at those new highs. All right, now looking back as this thing started to roll over, again, a lot of times when these stocks have these huge momentum moves, it's just running up on momentum and euphoria. And basically the valuation of the stocks don't even matter. But a lot of the times these stocks just push to overvalued prices and they eventually come back down. And so you wanna watch out for those moves because again, you don't wanna be buying when it's just going down, down, down. And you can see we got that move. We got that kind of capitulatory move or price kind of just completely gives out. So again, over time, you will start to notice things, but you can see the change in character where we start to break below this moving average. We're no longer trending along that moving average, and then we start to break down and move lower and lower. And then on this backside, you can see that after the stock tanked about 60 to 70%, you can see there's a few patterns here that you can pick up. You can see there's some flags here, but again, these kind of tight consolidation moves, you get these pops up, but this isn't a point where you look for the stock to completely go back up. It's super, super unlikely that the stock completely goes back up, makes new highs. The momentum's kind of gone, the momentum's dead. But here you're just looking for those sideways trades, trying to pick it up on the lower dips and prices and then sell those pops back up. OK, and the last thing I'm going to touch up upon is the psychology when it's coming to this trading. So again, when this came to trading, I was a bit nervous when it was coming to sizing up. But again, I talk a lot about strategies and having edge. And over time, when you do have that edge, you do have that confidence in your strategy you go ahead and size up and so the psychology wasn't really a problem for me i was pushing myself taking more size and that's how i got here okay so i was increasing my size to my limits and kind of what i was more comfortable with but again that's what you do again my biggest day from trading was six thousand dollars and then on this day i made fourteen thousand dollars so that's how i did it but again you only get there from pushing yourself and putting on that risk 
Okay, so that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed. That's my trading day making $14,000 with transparency and proof. If you guys are interested and want to learn more, I have the free discord down below. There's a link you could join or you can reach me through my social medias. And like always, do something today that your future self will thank you for. Take care.